in southern Illinois, we're known for our lakes. We have a lot of small reservoirs made mostly as drinking supply sources for each and every little town. And in Franklin County, Illinois, the eastern part, there's a little known lake called Lake Hamilton. Now, this is a deep little grassy lake. While not well known to most, even most locals, the pan fishing here can be exceptional well. When it comes to midsummer pan fishing, there are three major keys to success that I find, especially on grassy lakes like this. First, you want to check old bedding spots. Bluegill will actually bed on in through August. Second, on grassy lakes, pay attention to your grass lines. Fish will come in and out of the grass. They'll go in to feed on little bugs, microbes, and anything else, but they'll also be dodging bass, so oftentimes they'll be found just on the outer edge. And most importantly, especially when it comes to me, you got to fish fast. The bluegill aren't patient, neither am I. So I'm casting, reeling up really quickly, casting, reeling up until I find one. You find one, you usually find more than one. So keep these tips handy with you the next time you're bluegill fishing in the summertime. Folks, today we hope we're going to get a couple nice bluegill or a red ear. We're going to have this little catch and cook. We're going to feature one of my favorite recipes. They're called crappie tacos, but you can theoretically make them with any pan fish or any meat for that matter. But I just love them best with crappie. But trust me when I say the bluegill will be delicious as well. But first things first, we actually got to catch the fish. Which is the best part. This water has to be 85 degrees at least. I can barely tell any difference between it and the air temperature. And air right now is in the high 80s. There's one. What we got? Hey. Well, that one will go in the fish sack. We're not going to starve tonight. Absolutely hammered it, whatever it is. Another good sized female. But we're gonna put her back for the same reasons we've outlined. Good fighter. Oh my goodness. Man, that is a large, large female right there. I'm sticking to my guns though, no females. Oh, he bit real funny, maybe a bass. No, big bluegill, big bluegill. Heck yeah. That's what I wanted.
complaints here. Good one. Good one, good one, good one. Nothing wrong with any of these. Apparently I lost a leg off my bug. hot streak going these are nice nice bluegill <laughs> now look what fell into my lap. We are on fire right now. Boy, that's a big fighter. And that's why it's a big fish. I'll probably only try to catch two or three more out of this bed because apparently it is a bed of bluegill and I want to leave them be. Just get what I can get so I can have a fish fry. That's our only goal, not to pack the freezer full. We just want to eat some fresh fish by the lake. Man, I don't know what that is. Ooh, big bluegill. Great bite. We've almost got enough for the whole fish fry. I think one more, let's see, that's two, four, that's eight out of this mess, right? eight of them out of this bed right here. We're gonna catch one more and then we're gonna leave them alone. There he is, number nine out of that bed. He's a good one. I am more than happy with those. Is that a bass? Right up against that concrete? No, goggle eye. Man, he absolutely just devoured that thing.
pretty nice bluegill. We're gonna let him go though, because we have all the fish we need unless we catch a really big one or a red ear. We're being picky now. Well folks, you missed out on some of the action. I switched over to the apple seed and black and caught several more big bluegill to go along with the ones we'd already caught. And it's time for me to clean a few fish. So we're gonna cook them up here on the side of the lake. My wife will be out here in a little bit. She brought some of her famous coleslaw that you can find on the website, gasfishingstore.com. Just look for the crappie taco recipe. It's excellent. Well, that is today's supper. You should look at some of these. I've got very big hands. Not too bad, huh? We'll fillet these up and we'll be right back. Look, it's my smoking hot wife. She showed up. She's gonna light the fire as I clean the fish. Good, the way we like them. Huh? So that's the way we like them. What do you think? They're going to be good? They're going to be great. Cabbage, carrot, Granny Smith apples, honey, all the good stuff. This should be ready. I'll grab a towel for a little more. will do just fine. We are in the woods after all. Drop that one. This should have been born left handed. I'm going to take the towel first. I like mine a little. Two small pieces per taco is about right. Can't beat that. That's good. It's a little hot. Mm. Good stuff? That's good. I don't want to eat after you. Here. <laughs> okay. 
How's that fresh fish taco? Delicious. Is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs>